one of the things we don't want to do is we don't want to arrive at a place and immediately turn off the engine, unload the horse, and get them used to the idea that when the vehicle comes to a stop, that means they're going to exit, which makes it particularly difficult when you stop to refuel, um, when you get caught somewhere where you've got to wait, or in this country when we have to wait for the inter-islander ferry where you turn up an hour before the sailing and the horse literally just has to park up and, and wait. So what we don't want to see is the trailer rocking around, horse thinking this means exit. And of course we can teach them that simply by making it a habit. We're here, quickly get them off. So instead we'll leave them on, leave them there for a while, do our things, go about our business, set ourselves up, whatever we have, whatever we have to do, and then before too long we will we'll ask them off. Big fella, how you going? Yeah, right. There's my clean release. Okay, so we're traveling with a not longer than usual lead rope here. And obviously this is going to land perfectly neat and not land in the poo below you. A little bit of sweat from my horse. He's a bit woolly, but that's probably more concern than physical exhaustion or heat, I would think. All right, keen to get out, I'm sure. What we're not going to do is stand directly behind him. So something I do habitually is just a count of 30. Because again, we can build in a pattern to where when that opens and we let them out pretty quick, they're just waiting for that ramp to come down and they know that's an out. So if he was to come out on his own without being asked here, I'll simply ask him back on. So here he's kind of feeling for the exit. I might just give you that one. So I don't want to link ramp coming down to them coming off. I don't want to link the bar coming out to them coming off. And now he's come back a little bit, so I've got a judgment call to make here. Do I invite him off or do I send him back on? Today I'm going to invite him off. So I've deliberately put the rope on this side and that's going to be his rail. It's going to stop him falling down here, I hope. That's my land. You're okay. So I can offer a feel to his head, push his hip that way if I need to, by tipping his nose this way, and I could have even been further back. So that was like a rail. There we go, mate. We're somewhere new. Holy smokes. <laughs> 